Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kushal of rmrm.com. Uh, as an emergency physician, I see a lot of patients with asthma or COPD or reactive airway disease. Maybe you're one of those individuals who has that condition or you know someone who does. Uh, what's important to note is when these individuals are sick enough to show up to the ER, they require some form of intervention, some form of medication, and they invariably request uh, the nebulized form of either albuterol or a different medication called Duoneb, which is a combination of albuterol and ipratropium. And for those who don't know, a nebulizer is a machine that basically takes these medication and cause them to, uh, to become aerosolized, allowing the user to inhale the medication and delivers it down deep into the lung. The alternative to a nebulizer is an MDI or a meter dose inhaler. And I'm sure everyone has seen asthmatics use these little inhalers. That is called an MDI, meter dose inhaler. Basically, it's a powdered form of the same exact medication that a, nebula, a nebulizer uses, but it's in powder form. And it's delivered the same exact way, but the key difference is that, uh, and, and this is what makes it pertinent to, to the coronavirus outbreak, when someone uses an MDI, it doesn't uh, spread uh, the the medication to those around in the close vicinity of the user. When someone uses the nebulizer, on the other hand, a portion of that medication, of that aerosolized form of the medication, is exhaled back out by the user, and it exposes everyone in close vicinity to, to uh, not only albuterol or duonab, but it also exposes them to coronavirus. Uh, and so if, if you uh, are an asthmatic, if you are someone with COPD or you know someone and you have access to either an MDI or a nebulizer, please use the MDI. Don't use the nebulizer. And, and if you're someone who's healthy and you see someone using a nebulizer, uh, really avoid going uh, in close proximity to them without wearing an N95 mask because you're going to get exposed to whatever it is that they're exhaling. And if it's the coronavirus, uh, you're going to be exposing yourself to that virus. Thanks.